Good afternoon. My name is Steve Yoho, and I'm the chancellor at South University. It's good to be with you this afternoon. It goes without saying that this is a time like no other. I understand that everyone is experiencing heightened anxiety and uncertainty during these uh, very uh, unusual times. I'd like to pause at the beginning of this webinar to speak to students. I want you to know that you have support as a member of the South University community. If you need help, please ask for it. Reach out to your instructor, your academic advisor, or perhaps even a fellow student. You may have a question that we haven't really anticipated yet. More than anything, know that we are available to assist you. Our campus faculty are delivering courses in new ways that now match the campus experience, even though they're virtual. These courses are taught in real time. They're learning sessions where you, your classmates, and your faculty members are teaching and learning together. The faculty and staff, I would like to say I know that the task before you these past several weeks have been immense. They've been great. And I realize that, that you're not facing these in a vacuum. I am sincerely grateful for the contributions and the efforts that you are putting into our response to this crisis. Your response is helping the university meet the needs of its entire community. And for that, I am very, very grateful. South University has acted quickly to continue to operate and fulfill our educational mission. I announced last Tuesday that our campus-based courses in the spring quarter will follow the same format as we ended classes in the winter quarter. We'll begin the spring in a go-to-meeting format. We're calling that virtual remote, South Virtual Remote or South VR for short. It's a real-time synchronous format in which uh, we are developing an effort to uh, protect the South University community from the spread of this dreaded COVID-19 virus. In order to differentiate this go-to-meeting modality from the fully online courses that are taught by faculty at South University Online, which are not offered in real time and which do not utilize go-to-meeting, we named it, as I mentioned earlier, South the purpose of this short uh, webinar today is uh, first and foremost to clarify any questions that you may have regarding this new format, but also to extend into what life as a student and faculty member will be like uh, in the spring quarter at South University. So I'll begin, I have several uh, questions that have been posed as those that are frequently asked. So we'll jump into the questions and I'll provide some uh, answers as we move through these. The first question is, what is South VR and is it the same as a South online course? I just spoke about that briefly, but in more detail, no, South VR is a temporary learning format that we're uh, utilizing uh, go to meeting technology. And that was adopted to help students at each of our campus locations continue their education during the COVID-19 pandemic. South VR offers uh, the opportunity for students to meet in live instruction with their uh, faculty members. Um, they'll do that through um, the, the GoToMeeting link, but also uh, the uh, Brightspace uh, Learning Management System, uh, our LMS system. So combining those two, uh, powered uh, by the GoToMeeting primarily, it's virtual, it's real time, uh, it's the expertise that we've really gathered over a number of years as a university. As each quarter we teach uh, classes between and among campuses 
um, that are virtual in what we call VTC um, modality. So it's an extension of that. We are fully equipped to provide you, the student, with a quality educational experience while you're away from campus. Moreover, and, and most importantly, I would say that the power of this is really not the technology so much as it is the experienced faculty that will be the same talented faculty that you're used to seeing in your classrooms on campus. They'll be there with you real time, leading your discussions, lecturing, answering your questions in a virtual environment. You'll be there beside them. You'll be there with your classmates, uh, again, utilizing GoToMeeting and Brightspace. So that will help you to keep track of what's on your plate in the spring quarter. So South VR or GoToMeeting Brightspace courses are not the same as South online courses. The next question is, what virtual learning support will I have in the spring term? Well, you'll have the option to obviously, as we just mentioned, attend these virtual uh, remote real-time courses. There'll also be tutoring hours that will be available. And each of your instructors will be hosting virtual meeting uh, times to assist you with your uh, assignments in these courses. So no matter what comes our way, South is very committed to providing you with the personalized attention and support that you need and want to succeed. The next question is, um, what on-campus learning support will I have in the spring term? Well, on our campuses, like in other locations in public, we're all practicing something that we've come to know as social distancing, physical distancing. This is one means to prevent the spread of COVID-19. The on-campus learning support will be available. It will be uh, available on a limited basis, but supported by the virtual uh, tools that you will have to uh, navigate your courses. Many of you use uh, the library services that are virtual. Uh, you've done that uh, for many quarters. Uh, that will be available in spring as well. Individual tutoring, I mentioned the, the South VR courses through GoToMeeting, APA tutorials, advising, and other learning support will be available uh, in this uh, uh, on-campus basis. I think it would be most important for you to contact your campus leader or your dean of student affairs, your academic advisor, to get more information regarding what's going to be available on campus and what's going to be available in a virtual, virtual learning support. The next question is, will I have disability services support if I have a need for that? Your campus disability service coordinator will be available to assist with disability services, including assisting those students with receiving accommodations for the first time, and those already receiving disability services. I'd like to ask you to phone or email your Dean of Student Affairs for assistance uh, if you have a need in this area. The next question is, how will courses held with GoToMeeting affect veteran student financial aid status? That's a very good question. How will classes held with GoToMeeting affect veteran student status? The Department of Veteran Affairs has recently issued a temporary approval to continue GI Bill um, benefits. This includes the monthly housing allowance as well as the educational benefit payments. They will continue these uh, in, uh, as long as the in-person, or until I should say, the in-person classes resume after the pandemic. So we are continually uh, through this spring quarter certifying VA students uh, as attending South VR via GoToMeeting as on campus uh, for the spring term. So VA benefits will continue to be available. So we're, we're pleased about that. The next question is how can I use the library 
when I cannot be on campus? How can I use the library when I cannot be on campus? Well, I know most of you uh, access the South University virtual library, even when you're coming to campus to take your courses. Of course, you do that through Brightspace, the learning management system. In each of your classes, the top nav bar has a direct link to the South University online library. You can research South University resources there. You can access live chat with a librarian there, or you can phone the library by calling 866-874-0730. Let me give you that number again, 866-874-0730. The next question is, will we return to campus sometime during the spring quarter? We continue to monitor the evolving situation with COVID-19 very, very closely. This requires monitoring on a daily basis, and some days, an hourly basis. When we make decisions, we'll make every decision with the safety of students and faculty and staff in mind. Uh, we will keep you up to date with all these decisions that impact you, and we'll communicate early and often about that. Certainly, um, in advance of returning to campus, we will have a plan and process in place to do that with your safety in mind. Right now, we uh, do not have any insight into when or if during the spring quarter we'll be able to return courses to the campuses. Next question is, how will courses be taught in the summer quarter? It's a good follow-up to the other question, and the answer is, unfortunately, um, very similar. We, again, uh, are closely monitoring. That's three plus months away. It's very difficult to anticipate um, sometimes days, certainly not weeks or months ahead, but as um, you know, our goal is to bring the classes back as soon as it is safe to do so, and we'll communicate uh, in advance of doing that by a considerable number of days. The next question is, with courses for a, with a clinical component, what is the plan? We've been in consultation with faculty, and faculty teaching these courses will move the didactic portion or the teaching portion of the course to the beginning part of the course and then move the clinical portion of the courses back to the end of the courses. So that's the plan uh, on the uh, clinical components. If you're in a clinical course, uh, please reach out to your faculty. They'll be discussing that with you as courses begin uh, later this week and on into next week. The next question is with rising unemployment, and it certainly is, how can South University help? How can we help? There are a couple of parts, I think, to the answer um, to this question. The first part being, if your financial situation changes due to a change in your employment, uh, I encourage you to connect to your financial aid, uh, aid advisor. Uh, do that quickly, do that immediately to discuss your individual situation so you understand the options that are available to you and we wanna assist you with continuing your education. The second part of this question relates to career services. The career services teams are available uh, to assist you as a current student and also to assist uh, alums with uh, job placement and career information. We recognize that students may need additional support during this time. And so you will see newly developed webinars offered next month. Uh, I have a few of the titles that I'd like to share with you today. Um, one title is Developing Soft and Transferable Skills. Uh, another webinar is Navigating Virtual Job Fairs. And the third that we have is Identifying Employment Opportunities in Today's Market. So Career Services will be holding uh, these webinars. They'll also be having um, hours, open office hours for any student needing assistance. But also mentioned that South Edge is a newer platform, an effective one that provides additional um, 
professional development tools. So you might uh, ch check that out as well. Well, these are some questions that we think uh, are more frequently asked. Uh, we may have not covered everything. Certainly you may have a question that has not been answered during the webinar. If you do, where, where can you go to get, get help? I would suggest um, go to your faculty member, go to your instructor, um, go to your program director. Um, any, any of those individuals will have uh, information and be ready and prepared to answer additional questions that you may have now or that may come up uh, during the coming uh, days. Also seek out your academic counselor uh, as a, a resource uh, to get your questions answered. They're uh, there to support you um, on a daily basis. They'll also be there to continue to support you throughout your degree program and on to graduation. As the circumstances around the country continue to evolve, please know that South University considers your safety and your health as our very, very highest priority. Our hope is that sometime very soon, uh, life, especially life, but also life on our campuses will return to normal. But until then, we hope that you and your family stay safe and they stay healthy. This is our utmost goal and desire for you. Our dedicated faculty and our dedicated staff our administration that's, that's leading, these teams have come together in a way that will help you continue to prepare for your career goals and opportunities. We appreciate your understanding and your cooperation as we continue to monitor uh, this threat that's uh, before us right now. And we're doing that every day with your safety and your health in mind. I wanna thank you for taking a few moments to be with me during this webinar. I hope it's been helpful to you. I really encourage you to reach out to others that are uh, mentors and close to you in your network uh, so that you can find answers to questions that you have. We're here to help, we're here to assist, uh, we're here to make the spring quarter an excellent one for, for everyone involved. It, it will be a way for us to uh, achieve our professional and our educational goals while still keeping everyone uh, safe and healthy. Uh, again, thank you for your time. Be safe, be healthy, take care. Thank you very much for listening.